Welcome back guys to Metroid Prime as we now explore the phase on mine with tons of space pirates adapting to our way of fighting. What's in there? No, 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 no. Why'd you give me so much health? Bendesium, protect me. You can stop him breaking out, Bendesium. Bendesium. I hate you, Bendesium. Right. Then, how do we take you out, guy? Elite pirate, phase on the hands, strong base pirate, incredibly strong, armored and well armed. Elite pirates are potent foes. Their energy siphon systems absorb beam weapon shots. The nature of the subsystem makes them vulnerable to concussion based weapons. Well armed, the elite pirate is effective in close combat and at distance. Their massive size can be a weakness and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. Okay. I was gonna say, is there something going on here that's interesting? The weapon. Maybe I want to aim for that. Do you know what? Do you know what? Wave Buster! 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 That kind of worked. Wave Buster! 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 Doesn't really work very well, does it? To be honest, I feel like dodging is just better when you can dodge properly. Can't get me behind here. Bendesium will protect me. Bendesium is my friend. Let's try and blow up the thing on the back of his head. What are you doing with your power beam there? I think he's sucking in my shots, to be honest. He is, he's sucking in my shots. Then I fired a missile. Who are you? You're an ice guy now. Firing a missile work. Wave Buster! Morphology Ice Trooper, space pirate armed with ice beam technology. Have reverse engineered several new weapons, including the ice beam, which makes him very weak to it. Does that mean he's gonna freeze when I hit him in a second? I'm behind here. You can't hit me. Oh, you're not gonna freeze. I'll deal with you. Any others? There are, but they're not down here. One there. Let's keep exploring them. A shipment of military grade plasma artillery cannons is en route to Talon 4. The Eganoid Star Marines we acquired them from were letting them sit in a warehouse. Our elite pirates, on the other hand, put them to good use very soon. Stop stealing the stuff! I need pirates and all. How dare you? Investigation to possible ingress point for the impact crater to continue to meet with failure. The shield of strange energy that protects it is impermeable, and all attempts to tunnel past it have proven fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in light of the recent life form readings we've discovered emanating from deep within the crater. Analysis of the readings indicates that a massive creature is just dating there, absorbing enormous amounts of phason from the phason core at the heart of the impact crater. This discovery makes accessing the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to the vast deposits of Phasen within, but it will also lead us to this creature, wherever it may be. Or whatever it may be. We know where it is, it's just what? Oh! Power surge is detected. So let's locate with mining compound. Compound? Not far away, in fact. Central dynamo. Alright, well that's in mind. Let's keep scanning. Space power encrypted data decoded. Another log. Security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebes. The alert concerns Bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Just why I'm called. Subject is a female hominid and heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Well, yeah, I am. Subject uses a Paris armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate around on site, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of a powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers Aran to command dead or alive, it matters not. Friendly. You mean there's no power up in here? I was thinking I'd tear off his weapon. And that would give me something. Ooh, what's this? Phasal nutrient vat. Elite pirate ration processing in progress. Not anymore, eh? He did. 
the weirder part of the music. Consumption of elite nutrient mix by non-elite units is strictly prohibited. Failure to comply will result in a 50% ration reduction for a Deca cycle. Poor guys. Security level tab will be in expect or tau until further notice. All leaves cancelled pending downgrade of alert status. I did get leave. Bioform Samus Aran continues to assault our holdings on Talon 4. Security has been compromised in multiple areas. Casualty rates are rising. Commanders authorized a sizable bounty for the bounty hunter for the capture or termination of Aran. Report to your field officers for details. Right then, log entry. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aran's arsenal based off of data acquired from results on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aran's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aran's parasuit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Ball test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterward. They seem like quite a nice organisation in some weird way. There's a slight caring about their subordinates. Don't know about you, it does seem kind of that way. Can I stop that maybe? No. Well, I could just head that way and get out. Not that I, I can go up and get them. Okay, that's a nice guy as well. I hit him, didn't I? Should have kept shooting. Pirates not good at making more falls. I think most people wouldn't be. I definitely like the ice guys the most. They die easily. Definitely best enemies. More scans. Would you like some scans, people? Would you like to know all the lore? Evaluation of plasma artillery cannons is complete. The weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high heat signature. This could make them easier to target for enemies with enhanced vision capabilities. Oh. Well, yeah, I, I know that we could attack them. I, I knew that that was what I was going for. Security alert computer systems compromised. Bioform Summer Saran has cracked our systems. Hunt can access our system at will and is able to bypass most of our security programs. Use manual locking systems when possible. You mean like the electric ones we're powering up, yeah? Facility commands request for elite pirate transfer to security forces granted. Prepare units EPG-8644 and EPG-8656 for field duty at once. One of them stayed in its... One of them wisely stayed in its compartment, really. Metro regression levels are rising. Be alert for any attempts by metros to escape their quarantine areas. The energy absorption ability is not able to disrupt our force fields, but continued exposure to Phazon may change things for the worse. Why did you start this? Reports on hunter activity are in. Analysis indicate that the hunter is using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facilities. We calibrate sensors to search for morph ball energy signatures. I'm not sure that's really going to help. Got a weird kind of energy signature here, guys. A ton more scans. Replacement of standard hatch covers continues. Steel covers will be replaced with cordon bendesium covers in two decker cycles. Planetary stealth technology is back online. We have evaded detection by the battle cruiser Emmons. The brief lapse in planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. Now we can concentrate our efforts on the hunter. So basically, they're saying no help's coming. Increase phase on portion of elite pirate ration by 18%. Report any signs of ration rejection by elites at once. Alright, another log. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo Rune sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, and a swift sharp scream then nothing only to be followed by another attack science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover chozo relics and artifacts somehow these entities are able to interact with the physical world and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts themselves it will make them pay for such arrogance but even ghosts can be destroyed yeah they can actually it works that said please don't make me scream a new pirate data entry 
Analysis continues on these cursed ruins and the chosen temples that hovers near them. We are now completely certain that the containment field denying us access to the impact crater is linked to strange artifacts that belong in the temple. We are no closer to finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to cover every wall of this ruined place. Command grows increasingly anxious for a resolution to this matter, so we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squadrons will begin terrain sweeps within days. Until they begin, patrols are instructed to report any and all architectural anomalies to their commanders. As in, like, stuff I've broken? Probably. Let's get some of those missiles back after using the wave buster. There's going to be tons of scans here as well. Absolutely tons. Alright then. Results are in from field studies on the Bioform group Chozo, who we believe are extinct. We believe that Talon 4 was once a stronghold in the Great Chozo Empire, brought low by the meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their powers. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have all we need from this dead race and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. So you say. I, I point out my Wiimote is pointing at you. Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts as a small key to a huge lock, and I've only got two. Judging by the number of statues, we assume there must be 12 artifacts. Once we find the resting spots of all 12, we can bring them here, unite them with their statues, and open the gate system at long last. Once we do, the impact crater and whatever creature it shelters will be ours for the taking. Phase on juice fungal harvesting continues. Replacement of Decatricticale with phase infused fungal matter in an elite progression mix has been authorized. Just phase on everyone up, isn't it? I feel like a sensor bar. Security requests deployment of elite pirates in Metroid quarantine areas. The high casualties suffered by standard pirate units deployed in Metroid areas is not acceptable. See, they care. They care. Reconfiguration of security drones authorized. Thank you, I guess. Where are they? Forceful engage deactivation required for access. No doubt of that. What's that noise I keep hearing? Off to like my left side. Well, that's the force field. We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the locations of the Chozo's artifacts until we can decipher the messages carved into the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate and our linguistic analysts can come up with little more than vague theories. The best hypothesis we can offer is that finding artifacts will require items spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items, we are lost and command grows more impatient by the day. Results must be produced soon. So you say. Well, we've opened up this door now by coming up to the very top. Question goes, which door do we go into? First of all, I'll take any and all health I can get. And go low. What was going to be the best route? Thanks for reading these, I skipped them like an idiot. Well, part of the purpose of these is Bendesium! Yeah, rock sliders block this. Bend it was Bendesium! Part of the reason I'm doing these videos is that I run YouTube, so it's for my YouTube channel in a sense. But live for those who wish to watch it live and interact. That force field you open is the good way. I think we know that, Bendesium. I wonder how many people, if anyone, clipped that scared, crapless moment. Bendesium must fall. One day I will get the, uh, the cure for Bendesium. That kind of forced me up, wasn't it? I didn't feel like I was doing all of that jump. Ooh, half pipe. Kind of, ish. Why did I jump in? Why did I jump in? This is stupid. Oh, okay, it's only them. I thought they were just literally going Right, I'm losing health here quite rapidly. Right, what's my way out here? 
Ventilation fan is working at minimal level. Activation vent system will bring it to full power. How? How can I activate it? Ah, door. I'm out of there. Phew. Let's not stay in poison land. Poison land bad. Increased aggression levels observed in latest elite pirate units. Increase in phase on feed by 0.07%. Yeah, okay. Per science team mandate. That'll help. Metroid activity accelerating in non-frigid areas. Metroids from the initial batch have matured to hunter phase. Be advised that the hunter Metroid is a siphon tentacle. It can attack with it from a distance as opposed to the close combat tactics used by younger Metroids. Nice to know. Especially now that music started. What well, magnetic rail system access must be approved by security? Lovely. They use it? Comes by me. Metroids are not responding to synthetic sustenance. We have reason to believe they only gain nourishment from active bioenergy sources. Vendesium is not my city. The cure is close by. Now that is what I'm talking about. However, these guys had to be... Not the ice kind. The easy to kill kind. I take it they're still vulnerable to rockets. Like, regardless of anything. He hasn't realized. More elite units, please don't wake up. I know you're blocked by Vendesium, but still. I fell down. This could be terrible. Get played, son! Can't teabag. Life is bad. Alright, force field offline. Oh, I didn't want to... I didn't mean to do that straight away. But I guess there's no way up? No, there isn't. More of the elites. Alright, batch 01, field designation elite pirate. It's just his name. He's the one who didn't get a name like Frank or Bertie. He's just elite pirate. Unit ident code, again, just elite pirate. They don't get names... An authorized Metroid feeding is strictly prohibited. What do you do to feed a Metroid? You're just like, going, eh, go on, suck my life energy. Enemies will tremble before the might of our elite forces. Well, kinda. But then wave buster! Buster, buster, buster. Elite Pirate Upsilon's propensity for Phazon has enabled our research team to infuse it far beyond our safety restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but it has retained all mental faculties and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers and the chameleon manta issued for cloaking purposes. Lovely! Elite Pirate Upsilon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out Phazon's deposits and coats itself in the substance, which is mends the creature's wounds. I'm going to fight this thing, aren't I? The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. A standard. Not just like an elite. Elite. Uh, the elite of the elite. The only concern at this point is its potential overdependence on Phazon. If we can heal from it, it's no wonder it's an overdependence. Death to the hunter. Death to all opposers. Now they're leaving messages for me. Now they know I'm hacking in. Test results from battle simulation Samus Aran are promising. Elite units report a 74% success ratio against Aran in testing. That's probably if I don't have so many energy tanks. High command is pleased, but expects a higher ratio by product's end. Like, a kill ratio, probably. Increase... I oh, said bomby areas. Bombu patrols in authorised areas. Vendesium. Increase that. Scramble all aerial units immediately. Flight pattern Sigma 4 is in effect. Just get out there and kill people, yeah? Well, multiple places to go. We've got down, we've got round, we've got all around. Places, places, places. We got Skewiff Elite Pirate, who seems to actually be awake. Cryopod damaged, immediate maintenance required.
Don't wake up. All available troopers report to Mine Security Command. Hello, elite stuck man. Alright. Bendesium! There's something around here somewhere. Science team is accepting volunteers for advanced weapon training. Who? I mean, if you... Who wouldn't want to be an advanced weapon training person man? I guess it might actually be that they're... Editing these guys as well a little bit. Genetically. And stuff. So the door there which you can't go through. So the door we're going through is the low door. Eh, uh, yeah, yeah. Gravity suit, crash site, first part of mines. It's been a, it's been a trip. And Bendesium. You're alive, aren't you? Cryosleep tank, unit CS446BR. Unit modified for elite pirate storage. If it stays stored, fine. I will store myself as well. We will be stored people together. A nearby energy flux has caused a malfunction in this panel. Hmm. Not that kind of energy flux, then. Just malfunctioning panels all around, yeah? I don't mind there being malfunctions at this point. I just wondered if there was a way up there or if that's where it came from. Right. Phase on processing and security systems are taxing the dynamo beyond safety tolerances. That's not good. But the conversion to geothermal power is easing the drain on our systems is not enough. Very power use at current levels could lead to system failures. Not good. Dynamo maintenance team is not responding to service call rerouting requests to central command. Well, let's jump into where there's got oh, there's gotta be an enemy near. Multiple safety system malfunctions detected, units should be taken offline immediately. Why why am I going to go down here then? Ah. Oh. So are these causing force fields? Nope, these are fine. Maybe I don't have to go down there. Let's see if I can jump fine. It's the mission to jump good over. I can jump the bestest. There's enemies here and I can't get forward unless I kill them. Yeah, game's telling me I have to go down now, because that's Bendesium. Come on, then. It's stealthy! Can I see you firmly? Okay, yes I can, kinda ish. Especially when you laser up. No, 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 it hit the thing! Oh, okay, but that's a hole. Oh. An electric bull mace! Because we needed that in our lives. Yeah, warning, I kind of get what electricity means. In terms of death and doom. Yeah, start the music now. Well, let's hope I go the right route. Okay, we have ourselves. Wonder how much this thing will hurt. What's with the water? Ooh, it shorted things. Cool. I mean, bombing's the only thing I could do, so... Give it a go and all. I 
Now, which way do I want to go here? Maybe I should have looked first, but it looks like it's fine. What's this? It's the kind of music you'd hear in some kind of quiz show. Don't tell me. This is the bane of the evil Bendesium. Power bomb acquired. While in Morph Ball mode, press down to release a power bomb. Power bombs can destroy tougher materials than Morph Ball bombs. Beautiful. Of course, I can get additional data, but at this point in time, we kind of know what's up. Stealth Robot Man. He was annoying. Who'd have guessed? An entire shift of dynamo workers have been transferred following bouts of phasal madness. Units have reported to the science team for use in laboratory experiments, studies even, and the elite pirate program. Their dementia will make them adequate training adversaries for the elite team. The keeping of pets has been suspended until further notice. Domestic beasts have been deemed highly susceptible to fatal madness and are thereby a hazard to personnel. All gronkats and old baps must be disposed of immediately. Failure to comply will result in the loss of pay for a cycle and reduced rations. Always threaten them in the stomach, aren't they? Right, you will have less food at all times. You will have the least food. Explosion! Yeah, it would be a good time for that, wouldn't it? Alright, so. More full mode. I have four power bombs. Do they recharge? Or do I have to find more? Well, that sucks. What are you? Cryotank failure. Bioform life signs are at flatline. Oh, they died. Life is bad. Did I fall down a hole? Wait, what? I fell down a hole? I don't have to fight these anymore. There's a way underneath. Doesn't have to fight them anymore. Fights them anyway. Right, is that going to lead me... Does any of these paths lead me back round? So I could have made it under via the electric here. Technically, it's probably going to be easier just to kill the things. I mean, there's not any specific items here, is there? I know that is a disable them. Wait, what? The beep of me? Ah! And slowly back away. No. Am I going too far forward here? I'm missing stuff here. I guess I'll probably have to back out as well, but I don't know. Metroid Quarantine A. Let's find out how well this goes for us, eh? Warning, force field disengage. Met ah! What am I doing, you stupid idiot? This is not the brains of the operation, it's not me! I could just leave. No, not me! Not me next! Not me next. Uh... I saw that man lose his brains today. Why'd I choose that one first? 
Science team reminds all personnel to refrain from antagonizing the Metroids. Severe penalties will be enforced for all violations of this order. You know, like death? It's a pretty severe moron moment. Security now taking volunteers for hunting parties. The target is Bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Well, I guess that was an efficient way to deal with them. Suspension of synthetic Metroid rations have been ordered. Synthetic Metroid rations to be replaced by live bioenergy sources on this date. Infusion of Phazon into local fungi is proceeding. This program has produced a cheap viable ration for many of our Phazon enhanced units on Talon 4. A mass production program has been authorised. That's how their voice denotes it. Studies indicate decreased aggression between elite pirates and irradiated metroids. Science team believes that infusion of phase on these units may be forming a type of symbiosis between them. Oh, that's worrying. Further studies are underway. Fungal invigoration fluid processing levels normal. I thought I saw a metroid. Alright, here we go. The Stone Cold Stunner 2. Thank you for the follow. You may have slightly tripped me out. I thought something was coming. <laughs> Report any force field malfunctions to Operation Command immediately. They didn't get a chance! There was no chance to not disengage force fields. Oops. I didn't I didn't get authorization. I'm a bad man. Right there, Metroids! Hello! I'm not getting through there, am I? Spectral increase at Talon site. This is somewhere completely different now. Okay. That's the spirally room, isn't it? That's in the life grove. There's an artifact there! I take it I'm not making it through there. What was that noise? What was that noise? What was that noise? Size increase of 400% increase in fungal units. That looks like a track. I can't look any higher right now. I should probably leave this area. I don't know if going that way is the right way. And if I'm going the wrong way again, people will tell me. Oh, door can only open that one. It was explosion. Uh... I'm not going that way, am I? Oh, man, what was that noise, yeah? No, wait, what are you doing waiting for me? Oi! Wait, he's not dead? Why you still get hit by that? Are they busy shooting each other now? I should just get them caught in crossfires. At least I'm getting my health back a bit. Headshot! Pee away! That's my nice way of saying something else. Oh, nice you, save room. An elevator would have been a good idea there. This is the most annoying zone to backtrack to. From. And to. I guess. Because I've got to go out and then I've got to come back. Considering it wants me to go somewhere else entirely. That seems to be the way things would be, yeah? Which is, say, annoying, but at least I can get all the Bendesium stuff out of the way as I go. It's not going to make these jumps. Oh, ah! Oh. This is not going to be fun, is it? <laughs> Just watch him. 
Don't tell me I have to fight these with Bendesium because there's a power up in there. Hey, what? You're out. You can break force fields. Hello, that defeat enemies to unlock doors. Say that like I wasn't gonna. Now you're using that annoying move again. Right, what is the best way to destroy you guys, I wonder? He's sucking up my power! Hmm. There must be a way past that. Well, by the look of it, it is just a way out. I won't go by that. He's dropping bombs! Wait it out. I jumped way early again. There you go. Bit of accuracy is all I need. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed. And by doors, you mean up there? Stay, Ben Desium man. I knew he was alive. Yeah. I'll say not any health was gained this day. No, we're fine. All right, there's a Ben Desi me bit. Please tell me he's not gonna wake up the guy underneath me. Be nice if it didn't. Ooh, Matt, finally. Now I can see where I can go, at least. Not sure how much that really helps, though. Right, so I was there. And... I wasn't there. Where was I? I haven't been there. And then I went down, then I went there, and that's the central dynamo. So I got to there. Oh, I actually counts it as one massive zone. And there's the underground. And that's, oh, so you go down there to get, that's, this zone's massive! So I'm here. I need to start heading back. To the yellow point. Hellboy, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the follow. Right. Let's keep on keeping on, shall we?